Speed. Speed. A, B, and C, common market. Scott, uh, graduating class. If you turn up to work every day excited to work and collaborate with everyone, then it really puts a good feeling amongst the cast and crew, and I like collaborating, basically. I like creating with, um, with other people, and, and I'm happiest when people are working together to create something. If you see a movie where you go, wow, that movie's like a perfect movie, that's like the hardest thing ever, and it's really a miracle that good movies get made, because there are so many different departments, and there's this weird, it's almost like alchemy, if at the end of the day you get an amazing product, because everything kind of has to be working in the right way to make that happen. It took me a long time to come to terms with self-tapes. Like, I hated them in the beginning because I don't like going, this is the way that it's done because I can do it in a bunch of different ways if you direct me and we can change it and that's what I enjoy, you know, is the collaboration aspect of it. But nowadays, a lot of it is self-taping. We just worked with the director on the show and she was saying that she enjoys when someone has a choice and comes in with a choice because then she knows that she can change it. It's always useful to hear from other people and just see that it's not a charmed existence. There is that whole thing of like, oh, you know, that person's an overnight success and that doesn't happen. There's always something that you pick up along the way. I've been validated by certain older actors who act in my way, but then there are other actors who do it in a completely different way and they've been successful too. So it's, it's a really interesting to basically realize that there is no right or wrong way. There is a central driving force. It's a weird waiting game sometimes. Not working is always the hardest. You have to find a certain piece with the work that you have when you have it. If you look at my resume, some of those jobs were like two weeks. So one year I, would do, I did like a movie for four weeks and then a guest spot for two weeks, and that's six weeks out of the entire year of 52 weeks. So a lot of it is, um, is just trying to keep your sanity when you're not working. I mean, I, I have to confess I wasn't brilliant at that when I wasn't, I wasn't working, and, and I'm British, so... Um, we tend to go to the pub a lot in England. <laughs> and so a lot of that is like actors going to the pub and like talking about the business. <laughs> there was a point in my career where, you know, I knew that everyone is good enough to get the job, but this guy get, got the job because his hair's a different color or he's taller than you or he, there's just, he fits with the girl. Or like, there's all these different things that really helped me actually to be like, oh, well, I know that I can do the job, but there are other factors involved and it's not just about talent. I think what's important then is to make sure that you get the satisfaction from each job and you enjoy each job because nothing is predictable and you never know. Like, it's not necessarily going to be the job. And what does that even mean? Like, the job that does what? Because actually, however famous you get, unless you're like DiCaprio or someone at this point, you're not going to get to choose your jobs. You're always going to be competing against people. And in my experience, it's always you're aiming at this job and then this one comes from over here and you're like, oh, and that was the job I was meant to have. Hold on to what you believe and the passion that you have because that's what will carry you through all the situations that you're about to encounter. It's, it'll be tough, but it'll be worth it when you get there.